Welcome to the Bible Quiz. Today, we're embarking on an exhilarating journey through the New Testament. We've curated 25 of the most challenging questions to push the limits of your Bible knowledge and deepen your understanding of these sacred scriptures. Are you prepared to demonstrate your familiarity with the stories, characters, and teachings of the New Testament? But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up to support the spread of God's Word. We're thrilled to accompany you on this exploration of the Bible. Are you ready to dive into this exciting adventure through the New Testament? Let's get started! Question 1. Who was stoned and dragged out of the city and presumed dead? A. Paul B. Peter C. James D. Stephen You get 10 seconds. That's A. Paul Paul, formerly known as Saul, was stoned and left for dead outside the city of Lystra during one of his missionary journeys, Acts chapter 14, verses 19 to 20. Despite the severity of the attack, Paul miraculously survived and continued his mission to spread the gospel, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to Christ's teachings and his resilience in the face of persecution. Question 2. Who thought that Jesus was John the Baptist risen from the dead? A. Caiaphas B. Nicodemus C. Pontius Pilate D. Herod Antipas You get 10 seconds. That's D, Herod Antipas. Herod Antipas, the ruler of Galilee, initially thought Jesus might be John the Baptist resurrected. This belief stemmed from Herod's guilt over ordering John the Baptist's execution and the miraculous deeds attributed to Jesus, which stirred public speculation. Mark chapter 6, verses 14 to 16. Question 3. Who was Jesus referring to when he said, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel? A. The centurion B. The blind beggar C. The Samaritan woman D. The Syrophoenician woman You get 10 seconds. That's A, the centurion. Jesus spoke these words in admiration of the centurion who displayed remarkable faith by believing in Jesus' authority to heal from a distance. The centurion's humility and faith astonished Jesus, highlighting that faith transcends cultural boundaries. Matthew chapter 8, verses 5 to 13. Question 4. Who was called the friend of God? A. David B. Moses C. Abraham D. Solomon You get 10 seconds. That's C. Abraham this title emphasizes Abraham's close and intimate relationship with God, characterized by his faithfulness and obedience. It signifies Abraham's esteemed position in God's sight as a model of faith. James chapter 2, verse 23. Question 5. In Jesus' parable about the woman who lost a coin, how many coins did she have in total? A. 
5. B. 10. C. 11. D. 12. You get 10 seconds. That's B, 10. In Jesus' parable of the lost coin, Luke chapter 15, verses 8 to 10, a woman had 10 coins but lost one. She diligently searched, sweeping her house until she found it. This parable vividly portrays God's relentless pursuit of those who are lost, illustrating his immense joy when even one sinner repents and returns to him. Remember to hit that subscribe and join our community to stay updated on all the amazing content we have planned. Question 6. When Jesus healed 10 lepers, how many returned to thank him? A. 5 B. 3 C. 2 D. 1 You get 10 seconds. That's D, one. After Jesus healed 10 lepers, only one Samaritan returned to express gratitude. Luke chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. Jesus praised his faithfulness, underscoring the significance of gratitude and acknowledging God's miraculous interventions in our lives. This story serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of acknowledging God's blessings and responding with thankful hearts. Question 7. To whom did Jesus say, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. A. John B. Thomas C. Peter D. James You get 10 seconds. That's B, Thomas. Jesus spoke these words to Thomas, one of his disciples, who initially doubted Jesus' resurrection until he saw and touched Jesus' wounds. John chapter 20, verses 24 to 29. Jesus affirmed the faith of those who believe in him without physically seeing him, emphasizing the blessedness of faith based on spiritual conviction. Question 8. Who was on the island of Patmos and received the word of God on the Lord's day? A. John B. Paul C. Luke D. Peter You get 10 seconds. That's A, John. This vision, recorded in the book of Revelation, provides profound insights into future events and spiritual truths, emphasizing John's role as a faithful witness and recorder of divine messages. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 9. Question 9. How many times did Jesus ask Peter if he loved him? A, one time. B, two times. C, three times. D, four times. You get 10 seconds. That's C, three times. This interaction followed Peter's threefold denial of Jesus before his crucifixion. Each time Peter affirmed his love for Jesus, emphasizing reconciliation and Peter's commission to feed Jesus' sheep. 
signifying restoration and reaffirmation of Peter's role as a leader among the disciples. John chapter 21, verses 15 to 17. Question 10. Who did Jesus say he saw under the fig tree? A. John B. Peter C. Andrew D. Nathaniel You get 10 seconds. That's D. Nathaniel. Jesus saw Nathanael under the fig tree before Philip called him. John chapter 1 verses 45 to 51. When Nathanael expressed amazement at Jesus' knowledge of him, Jesus revealed his divine insight, affirming Nathanael's sincere faith and foreshadowing greater revelations of Jesus' identity as the Son of God. Question 11. Who were the sons of thunder? A. Peter and John B. James and John C. Thomas and Matthew D. Philip and Bartholomew You get 10 seconds. That's B. James and John James and John, two of Jesus' disciples, were known as the Sons of Thunder, Mark chapter 3, verse 17. This nickname likely stemmed from their fiery and zealous personalities. They were part of Jesus' inner circle and were present at key events like the Transfiguration and the Garden of Gethsemane. Question 12. When speaking about Jesus who said he must increase but I must decrease. A. Paul B. Peter C. James D. John the Baptist You get 10 seconds. That's D, John the Baptist. It reflects John the Baptist's humility and recognition of Jesus' supreme role as the Messiah. He understood that his ministry was to prepare the way for Jesus, and now that Jesus had come, his significance would diminish in comparison to Christ's mission. John chapter 3, verse 30. Question 13. Who was Jesus referring to when he said, did I not choose you, the twelve, and one of you is a devil? A. Judas Iscariot B. Matthew C. Thomas D. Peter You get ten seconds. That's A, Judas Iscariot. Jesus said this about Judas Iscariot, one of his 12 disciples who would later betray him. John chapter 6, verse 70. Despite being chosen as an apostle, Judas' betrayal fulfilled scripture but also highlighted the depths of human betrayal juxtaposed against Jesus' divine purpose. Question 14. What did James write about being an evil that cannot be tamed, full of deadly poison? A. The eyes B. The heart C. The tongue D. The mind You get 10 seconds. That's C, the tongue. James, in his epistle, 
vividly describes the tongue as an evil that cannot be tamed, full of deadly poison. James 3, 8. James underscores the importance of controlling our speech, highlighting its impact on others and urging believers to use their tongues for edification and blessing, not harm. Question 15. What suffering did Job endure after losing all his possessions and children? A. Leprosy B. Boils C. Paralysis D. Blindness You get 10 seconds. That's B, boils. These boils were a visible and agonizing affliction that added to his already profound grief over the loss of his possessions and children. Job's affliction with boils tested his endurance and faith, challenging him to maintain his trust in God despite overwhelming adversity. His story serves as a testament to perseverance in faith amid extreme suffering and uncertainty. Job, chapter 2. Verse 7. Question 16. Who told Jesus, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended? A. John B. Peter C. James D. Andrew You get 10 seconds. That's B, Peter. Peter boldly declared his loyalty to Jesus, stating that even if all others abandoned him, he would never be offended. Matthew chapter 26, verse 33. This declaration foreshadowed Peter's denial of Jesus during his trial, revealing both Peter's sincere but flawed devotion and Jesus' foreknowledge of Peter's temporary failure. It highlights the complexity of human loyalty and the need for reliance on God's strength in times of testing. Question 17. What color was the robe that the soldiers put on Jesus? A. Red B. Blue C. White D. Purple You get 10 seconds. That's D, purple. This act was part of the mockery and humiliation Jesus endured before his crucifixion, highlighting the contrast between worldly perceptions of kingship and Jesus' true identity as the King of Kings. Matthew chapter 27, verse 28. Question 18. Where did Jesus proclaim the gospel of the kingdom and predict the coming of the end times? A. Mount of Olives B. Capernaum C. Jerusalem D. Galilee You get 10 seconds. That's A. Mount of Olives Jesus often proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and predicted the end times during his ministry, but a notable instance is the Olivet Discourse, Matthew chapters 24 to 25. In this discourse, Jesus addressed his disciples' questions about the destruction of Jerusalem and the signs preceding his second coming, emphasizing vigilance and readiness for the fulfillment of God's kingdom. Question 19. What did Jesus say would happen if a kingdom is divided against itself? A. It will fall. B. It will unite. 
C. It will expand. D. It will prosper. You get 10 seconds. That's A, it will fall. He warns that internal division weakens the fabric of any group or entity, making it vulnerable to collapse and inability to fulfill its purpose. Jesus' words urge us to prioritize unity, as it not only fosters resilience, but also enables collective efforts to achieve common goals and withstand challenges effectively. Luke chapter 11, verse 17. Question 20. According to the verse, for the glory of God gives it light, and the Lamb is its lamp, what is being described? A. The river of life. B. The garden of Eden. C. The new heavens and earth. D. The city of Jerusalem. You get 10 seconds. That's C, the new heavens and earth. This verse describes the new Jerusalem, the holy city that comes down from heaven in John's vision in Revelation chapter 21, verse 23. The glory of God illuminates the city and Jesus Christ symbolized as the lamb is its lamp. This imagery signifies the eternal presence of God's glory and the central role of Jesus Christ as the light and source of spiritual illumination in the heavenly realm. Stay with us until the end of the video to see how many Bible quiz questions you got right. Don't forget to note your score and share it with us in the comments section. Let's explore and learn more about the Bible with these fun and interesting questions. Question 21. Which follower of Jesus was executed by beheading? A. Paul B. John the Baptist C. Peter D. James You get 10 seconds. That's B. John the Baptist John the Baptist a prominent prophet and forerunner of Jesus, was executed by beheading under King Herod's order, Matthew chapter 14, verses 1 to 12. His death was a consequence of his unwavering commitment to proclaiming repentance and preparing the way for the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Question 22. Which action did Jesus say is necessary, not just calling him, Lord, Lord, to enter the kingdom of heaven? A. Praying daily. B. Loving others. C. Believing in him. D. Keeping his commandments. You get 10 seconds. That's D, keeping his commandments. Jesus emphasized the importance of obedience to his teachings and commandments as evidence of genuine faith and discipleship, Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23. This underscores the idea that true discipleship involves not just a verbal profession, but also a life lived by the will and principles of God. Question 23. Which disciple went out and committed suicide after betraying Jesus? A. Peter B. James C. Judas Iscariot D. Thomas You get 10 seconds.
That's C, Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' 12 disciples, went out and hanged himself after betraying Jesus to the religious authorities for 30 pieces of silver, Matthew chapter 27, verses 3 to 5. His tragic end serves as a sobering reminder of the consequences of betrayal and the depths of remorse that can follow a grievous act against God and fellow believers. Question 24. In the region of the Gadarenes, where did Jesus cast out demons from a man? A. A cave. B. A cemetery. C. Among the tombs. D. A synagogue. You get 10 seconds. That's C, among the tombs. This event is recorded in the Gospels of Matthew chapter 8, verses 28 to 34. The man who was possessed by demons lived among the tombs, and Jesus performed a miraculous exorcism, freeing him from the torment of the evil spirits. This demonstrated Jesus' authority over spiritual forces and his compassion for those suffering from spiritual oppression. Question 25. Who asked, why were you searching for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? A. John. B. Jesus. C. Peter. D. James. You get 10 seconds. That's B, Jesus. As a 12-year-old boy, Jesus spoke these words to his parents, Mary and Joseph, who found him in the temple in Jerusalem after searching for him anxiously. Luke chapter 2, verses 41 to 52. This incident reveals Jesus' early awareness of his divine mission and unique relationship with God the Father, as well as his commitment to his father's business, even from a young age. Congratulations! What an incredible journey through the New Testament, testing your knowledge of these profound scriptures. How did you do? Whether you mastered the quiz or uncovered new insights, remember that the Word of God is an endless reservoir of wisdom waiting for us to delve deeper. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Let's invite them to join us on this enriching biblical quest. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for more quizzes and profound biblical revelations. Your feedback is invaluable to us, so please share your scores, questions, or ideas for future quizzes in the comments below. Thank you for being part of this journey today, and may your spiritual path be blessed abundantly. Thank you, and see you in the next video.